hi guys and welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome and i hope you enjoy my content so guys we are about to view a four bed detached home now this is quite a unique home and what i like about it is the flow that this home has and you will see it so we are in the living room or the family room as some may call it i do love the bay windows how it extends out and i do love the space in here And the garden I must say I absolutely love this garden it's quite spacious do love the plants and also the patio right so we're going into the kitchen area but before we do this store cupboard is quite handy. If I was to move into this property and if I was to purchase this property, I would use this as a sort of pantry area. So I'll put up a couple of shelves, make it all nice, put all my bits and pieces and my food in there. Right, so this is the kitchen area. It is extremely large. As you can see, loads of cupboards, loads of storage spaces, a double oven. And I've noticed that the cupboards are kind of two different shades. So you have like a gray or green, and then you have like a white color. Um, I'm not too sure if that is for the showroom purposes, just to show people and the different shades you can get the cupboards in, but I personally would just get one, one complete shade. Right, so we are going round into my utility room. I'm smiling, I just love utility rooms as you guys know. And this utility room, I think it's quite a good size. Um, it's not the biggest of them all, but it's a decent size. It can fit your washing machine, your dryer, and it's nice to have a sink also as well, because not all utility rooms have a sink. Um, with this area, I will put up nice shelves, have my organization on point. Now we've got the WC. Um, I do love the tiling, not the patterned um, tiling, but the plain tiling is quite nice. I'll probably just have that all over. Um, I just like things nice and plain and simple. Now we're moving on to the study, which is quite a good size for a study. Um, you can probably even use this as a snug room as well. front of the property so to the right hand side is the front door so this is what I'm talking about where I believe it has such a beautiful flow a lovely flow to the property I can just imagine my son just running around Right guys, so we are upstairs and we are about to enter into the master suite. I call it the master suite because this bedroom is giving me hotel vibes. I'm loving the inbuilt wardrobes and I'm loving the space that it has to offer in this room. Mm -hmm. 
Another thing I love about this property and especially this bedroom is that it has a beautiful bay window and usually in new build properties you don't come across houses with bay windows it's usually the older properties but this one here does have one so we are entering into the master ensuite and it is quite a good space i would say and um, what i love about um, the developers properties um, is that they always tend to tile the bathrooms from floor to ceiling you don't usually get that in all the properties but with this particular developer they tend to do that right so we are in the hallway again and we're moving on to another bedroom and this is a double bedroom and according to the floor plans it is bedroom two so it's the second largest bedroom I love the potential of this property as well because just outside the window, I don't know if you guys saw that, is that you can actually put and um, do a bit of renovation, put a door, a French door, and build like a nice little seating area, like a balcony area, if you really wanted to do that. we're moving on to the family bathroom and what I love about this bathroom is you have the floor to ceiling tiling and I'm also loving the color and the texture of the tiling here and we have a window it is so important to have a window in a family bathroom just in case you need an extra fresh air and ventilation if you know what I mean <laughs> Right, so we're moving on to the double cupboard. Um, it does have the boiler situated in here. However, you can use the space below um, just to store your bits and pieces like your hoover and so forth. Right, so we're moving into another bedroom. It's quite a spacious bedroom. Once again, you do have those bay windows. You have your inbuilt wardrobes. And I do believe that this is um, bedroom free on the floor plans. So we're moving on to the final bedroom, which is bedroom four. And as you can see, this bedroom is styled as a kid's room. Little boy's room is quite cute with all the cars and this is quite a good size single room i would say and once again you've got your lovely wide windows you've got your london bus i'm from london shout out to anybody that is from london i'm originally from london but living in the midlands at the moment right so guys that is it so we have come to the end of the house tour i really do hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next video